Now, before before we actually took that, uh, you know, the, a break to talk to you guys, we had that song that was just performed right here by an international artist. He's Nigerian, but best in East Africa. He's an Afro Afro pop, Afro beat singer, songwriter, performing and recording artist. Sure. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome to Bounce Nation. Boy, adequate. Let's go. Yes. yes. My name is That's adequate. Your name is adequate. Keep so, it going. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my name is adequate. Mm -hmm. You know that I'm accurate, and I don't wanna sleep on you. So you should don't sleep on me, cause I'm heading on my way, way so high. And if you don't want to left behind, you should just step on my side. Yeah. Just slide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was actually getting in the, in the groove of it. I was just like, you know, yeah. you know, you know. Mm -hmm. You make it look so easy, though. Mm. You make it look so easy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's talent and, you know, practice and everyday practice, you get me. So, here. Yeah. Talent plus Practice. practice yeah so you can't just have talent nah, and think like it's you're... not enough <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough i know he says it all the time mm. he says talent is only 10 percent yeah it's 10 percent. <coughs> basically um you know music is a craft yeah yeah and a craft can be learned mm -hmm. you get me so um you you see people coming out who are not basically talented mm -hmm. or naturally talented but i mean they love music or they love djing they love comedy they love acting yeah and they go into it. Mm -hmm. They just learn, they practice more often. And I mean, if you're if you're in more often, it gets used to you, you get? So, yeah, you get yeah. used to it. So talent is just like uh, 10%. Yeah, you need to work that's hard. That's actually true. Yeah. And you know, your journey in music started long ago. It did not start right now. Nah. It started in church. Exactly. Yeah, so how far long ago are we talking when you used to, you know, play in church and yeah. sing in church? How far long ago are we talking? Yeah, this, this, this has been since like, you know, I'm still growing yet, yeah. but here, this is when I was much younger. Mm -hmm. And um, I started singing in church like this. You know what? how I discovered my talent, yeah? Mm -hmm. I was just singing and I heard people telling me, wow, you sing? Is this you? You mm -hmm. sound like this? And it got into me. Mm -hmm. And so just like every other person who go to the church and because it's so easy for you to go to the church and you're accepted and then you learn, you get. So I go to the church and then uh, I was part of the choristers, but basically behind, not like the main choristers. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it started like then, and you know, I was in school, the secondary school. I, I freestyled for my friends, my whole schoolmate, and they loved it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yo, I think this is for for me, mm -hmm. and let me just do it. I mean, yeah. for the love and for the passion. Yeah. So yeah, it started like that, but professionally basically yeah? yeah it all started 2019 in 2019 yeah yeah so how did you make that transition from singing in charge mm. now being a proper afrobeats mm. and afropop singer yeah um just like i said earlier i've had a lot of recommendations mm. while just being in church mm -hmm. i've had my pastor telling so you me you did not want to sing gospel you're like ah, <laughs> i'm too talented no we start <laughs> we, we actually started yeah we actually started uh not basically into gospel but mm. i was open to every kind of music as at that time if you're a gospel artist and you be like you like my vibe and you want me you can relate yeah to i can it. relate to it yeah. even up to date it's music generally you get yeah. so um the transition really happened when i was like yo these recommendations are too much for me to just keep behind mm. the the door you get i need to come out i need to show people what i got mm. and before then i've been working yeah i have mm cool songs on the studio mm -hmm. but it's just there and on my phone just my school my friends yeah. me you know so um i met this school guys mm -hmm. they came on the studio where i do record you get and they'd be like you i like your vibe and we want to promote you and promote your music mm -hmm. so that was when i was like man if people could come to me and sit me down you know and tell me they want to promote my music at that time i mean it's all it's it's the time for me to be more serious right you get so yeah that was how the transition came i, I was more professional you know more conscious mm -hmm. of you know what i do and how i do them Right, and, and I understand when you're actually starting, you actually learn to play a couple of instruments. Yeah. So, what did you learn then, and are you still uh, playing that right now? Yeah, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you know where I'm going to, yeah. Okay, um, 
I growing up here, so that time I was in the church, mm -hmm. I used the opportunity to learn this uh, the keyboard, mm -hmm. you know. But along the line, <laughs> I was mm -hmm. not so much into it. Yeah. So, but I, I still have some basic skills and basic knowledge of the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just it. Right. So I know back then when you were studying, you were listening to Chuba, Banabo, oh, Khalid. I feel. I feel. Yeah. Have you have you listened? Have you have you dig? Have you have you deep like deep into my my content? Of course. Yes, but I have. <laughs> I know those are some of your influences. So do they still influence your music? Till or date. like right now, since you're making your own music, you've no. since evolved. And no, till date, because yeah. at, um, there was a time to face to Baba was like the main influence you get it has to do the influence in, in the sense that like his personality you know and the kind of content he put out there mm -hmm. two-face is a positive human being he regardless is. of i've all. actually met him mm. and when i met him i was an intern wow but he was so graceful yeah like you know how you're an intern and you're the one people send around exactly. go bring the guest. <laughs> so i go and bring him and the, i was so shy so mm. i got him like hi, hi. So, and he's like oh no, hi. And he had me and i was like oh Good. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm not the one interviewing me. He's like, I know, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. And he was so cool about yeah. it, so I understand. What yeah, you so so that. his lifestyle has been um, not for me. I can really say for every other artist that have come bef after him, mm -hmm. you know, his lifestyle is one thing that encourage everybody to want to like, yeah. I, if two faces can be like this, you know, I, I mean, I can do this as well, yeah. Yeah. So um, it started. You know, from the two face influence. Mm -hmm. But I hope it's just the music aspect, yeah. not the. No, not, not, not <laughs> <laughs> just the music aspect, yeah. To maintain the life and the music together, yeah. yeah. But I can still learn from that part. You, mm. you know, I can still learn from that part. <laughs> so here, yeah, it started from yeah. two face until mm. now, yeah. If you listen well to my music, mm. you could relate that there's a little bit of influence from two face. Right. And yeah, fast forward from two face. You know, the new school Burner Boy. Yeah. Yeah. His, his energy is, is, is tough mm -hmm. and it's from the south as well for yeah. me like uh -huh. me you know i'm from the south as well so here yeah, the energy is i can tap into his energy and you know just do the same almost the same thing even yeah. more, more better than right him. and speaking of south that is in uh, nigeria so there's yeah. the northern and the southern yeah. side so yeah. you're, you're from the southern south side of, of nigeria yeah, exactly. but you're best in east africa so yeah. how did that happen so specifically kenya right yeah, yeah, so how did you end up here so um i'm this person who like my family do support me yeah. um my dad my mom my sisters they support me and they be like i, I actually have a relative out here mm. you get who is married to my sister like you ah. know in your kind of thing so Aye. i'm like and he's like you i feel you i feel you you know mm. and you can come here and just try to push you get because afrobeat has you know grown past just the nigerian jurisdiction and it has moved all over africa mm -hmm. and it's like you if you come here you can you know pull pull up and yeah so uh i thought of it because the nigerian market is it's not quite tough for me i can face it yeah. <laughs> but yeah it's better to find your space than to you know congest in a yeah. place that is you know so yeah. I'm like, yeah, so you let feel me like just... Niger they're talented, but it's super saturated. Yeah, it's super saturated, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, okay, let me just pull up, like pull up from that scene and mm -hmm. yeah, let me see what can, yeah, you know, go out for me and... I'm yeah, here. I'm here I understand that. And I know the transition, also moving from different uh, a different place to another yeah. and also still pursuing music yeah. is not easy. So what can you say are some of the challenges you've faced along the way and how have you been able to counter that? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, although it is like mm -hmm. one of the main financial challenges, but I wouldn't say that as a, like the main because mm -hmm. I've got support, like of, even up to my friends, you get me, mm -hmm. I've got support. But the challenges I'm like, you know, I've been facing is the acceptance Dance, you know it's not like it's not yeah the center has been you know some maybe 30 40 yeah. percent but here yeah, we want more than that you know mm -hmm. so yeah that's like the main challenge so I'm doing my best that's why I'm here like spread the news talk about myself you know yeah. I'm doing my best to, like make sure the the Nairobi or the Kenyan market or the people get mm -hmm. to like yeah know me and accept me fully yeah. you know as their own that's right. Mm -hmm. And um, I know one thing, you spoke about this at uh, the uh, VOA, of course. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you, you, you talked about uh, the digital age, yeah. uh, the way it has affected the music yeah. industry. Maybe you can shed some light on that as well. You can talk to us about that. Um, um, I, I was opportune to be on that interview. And yeah, mm -hmm. I shared a couple of um, ideas. 
and which from my own perspective yeah yeah you see um music has evolved past uh, analog time mm. the time where you make cds and you know cassette and yeah, sell, yeah. <laughs> so these days it's even more better mm -hmm. in terms that your your content is safe mm. you get you don't have people who just you know use your content anyhow you know so that's like the first or the main um impact that the you know, this digital market has imparted to the life of artists and creatives. Because in Nigeria, mm. there there has been, you know, this struggle of copyright and piracy. Yeah. To get, so these digital platforms are, has helped, you know, mm -hmm. to fight these challenges. Right. You get, moving from that part, I mean, it's easier for an independent artist. You feel you can do music, you have the talent, you know, but it's not easier for you to just record your music and then you know, it's on this platform so easily and people, yeah, so that's the main benefit for my own part because it has, yeah, made an influence for me mm -hmm. and, you know, if I want to release a song today, I won't, like, think much or because I know these things are just there for me to access so easily. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's like, you know, it's a welcoming development to the to the industry and to the whole music scene globally mm -hmm. and, yeah, definitely it's going to be growing more. Yeah, that's mm. true. Mm. Right, and um, another thing I want to talk about is your album. Okay. You had, not an album really, an EP. EP yeah. So you had an EP last year, yeah. God's Spell. God's Spell, exactly. Yeah, tell us everything, <laughs> starting with the name. Mm. God's Spell, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> does God cast spell? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Two people, it's like, mm. you're going to be rich, you're going to be, oh, what? Okay, so okay, God's what do you spell, talk about God's Spell, it's yeah. from God's Spell. Mm -hmm. Like gospel itself. Oh, gospel, mm. like the music, yeah. the genre. Yeah, the genre. Oh, like, uh, you know. So, mm. gospel um, literally means the preaching of good tidings, mm. you know, sending good messages, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, that's like gospel for you. That's why Christianity right. is there to God motivate you, spell. you yeah, know. Yeah, so, I, I just it. took that phrase. I'm like, oh, let me give my people, or let me give these people this feeling of good tidings, you know, telling them good things to hear that will motivate them because that album was you know it was during um the lockdown the old coronavirus issue 2020 that was when i actually started making songs for that album mm -hmm. you get so just because everybody at that time was depressed you know some people lost their job mm -hmm. and all of that so i'm like oh this is the time people need to hear god spell mm -hmm. you get me to motivate them you get so just god spell came in i'm like okay here yeah, yeah. let's walk to this direction of yeah. gospel so every track on that ep is on that direction of positivity yeah yeah and we love it and then after that there was wavy which was actually really cool yeah. i loved it it was such a vibe yeah and now you're back with a new song yolo yolo <laughs> and it's performing so well yeah so what great. is the secret behind yolo that you did not discover before that is working so well <laughs> <laughs> compared to other songs because i actually checked it out and it's performing quite well yeah it's performing quite well yeah. because yeah you know I made it here. Let me say that's one of the that should be one of the secret. Mm -hmm. The fact that I made it here, oh, you know, in Nairobi. Yeah. You know, it was my first time in the Nairobi, like in the Kenyan mm -hmm. um, setting, in the studio where it's all of, all over like Kenyans, and we are trying to relate to get mm -hmm. and. Yolo itself came from the whole idea of Yolo came from my own personal experience, you yeah. know. As at that time I was recording Yolo or mm -hmm. writing Yolo, I was going through some, you know, psychological and emotional, you know, trauma and challenges mm -hmm. that I had to do with my music. Yeah. Fast forward to the verse two of Yolo, it says so many people have something to say, you know, telling you how to go on your own ways, mm -hmm. but ironically running from their own. You mm -hmm. get so I was in that state where people telling me, Oh, do you think music is for you? Do you think you can, you know, like do this? You know, it's so. Do you have the money? Do you have the capacity to be up there? Mm -hmm. You don't. Why don't you just focus on something else? Yeah. You know, so I'm like, Ah, this is the decision is all like it's for me to make if I really want to face, you know, battle the old challenges and mm -hmm. yeah, because I believe I'm going to be there. You get me? So mm -hmm. at that time, the old experience, mm -hmm. I just got in the studio. I'm like, yo, let me let me pour out my emotions on a record so people can relate. People like creative on that same situation that's going through that same situation like me. They can actually oh have the good thoughts. Oh, I think I can really do it mm -hmm. regardless of what everybody else is saying yeah. because that's their own. You get me? I yeah. believe. I believe I'm a star. 
yeah and i'm going to shine even more brighter mm -hmm. you know but if you're not seeing it that's your eyes that is not open enough to see but mine is open don't close it for me man yeah. <laughs> just allow me to see what i'm saying exactly. in time you will see okay so that's the whole of yolo mm -hmm. and i feel because of the message it has that's why it's performing really, really, that's really why it's well. Performing really well. Yeah. And of course, it has a local touch mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. So a lot of uh, you know Kenyans can yeah. actually relate yeah, to it. Yeah, well. And we love it. Mm. You have to perform to uh, you have to perform it for us one more time. Anytime. Before we go, <laughs> but before we actually let you do, uh, go, I want to know: Do you have any upcoming projects and collabs you're excited about? Yeah. Uh, I'm because super, the year is still actually very super, fresh. Super, super excited yeah. about like <laughs> <laughs> you know it's it's so like it's. It's so mean to me because it's Nairobi and it's Kenya. Mm. Trust me. I love the atmosphere out here. Mm -hmm. I love the the people. Mm -hmm. I love You the don't think it's so cold? My every time my Nigerian friends come here they're mm. like first of all they complain there's no AC in the room. So like, <laughs> you people don't have AC and then they're like Oh, but then it's actually very cold. Cold, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That I can't really deny. The first time yeah. I was I came, I was like, yo, this is so cold. Yeah. You know? But, but you've I've been used to it. Yeah, that's Nigeria that, yeah. for you. We are like quick to adopt to any kind of situation, you know. So yeah. Yeah. That's aside, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I love Nairobi and I really want to be in Nairobi. I want to be in Kenya. Yeah. Like I want the people to know me. Mm -hmm. So my team, my manager, and you know, I've met with, I've worked with like director who actually directed the video, mm -hmm. um, Trey Jewess. Mm -hmm. We met together, and it's like, oh, this is how it ought to go, or mm -hmm. how it's supposed to be. You know, we make collaborations with the Kenyan people in like the artists. Yeah. You yeah. know, we just link up, and mm -hmm. yeah. So I linked up. I would really want to start. It's not like we cannot start with the main axis, mm. but it's better you to, to start small. You get me. It's better yeah. to go yeah. on the grassroots yeah. and then get that. Walk your way up. You get. Yeah. So I linked up with an uh, independent artist like me. Mm -hmm. It's also an indie LA vibe. Mm -hmm. And here yeah, we came up with a good song. Ah. Yeah, a great song. So a great <laughs> song. It's on the way. It's on the way. Drop very, very, soon. very soon on no the way. No problem. Wow. Yeah. I don't want to push you too much mm. as soon as it drops you yeah. have to come and launch yeah, it sure, yeah sure. yeah we'll definitely more than glad sure. to hear anytime you. right all right so uh you have to perform for us but before you go your socials tell the guys that are watching at home your social media and where they can find your music as well and uh yeah if you have any shout outs of yeah course. so um big shout out to everybody watching me my nairobi my kenyan people wherever yes. you are it's mm -hmm. your boy adequate and mm -hmm. you can find me on all socials facebook instagram TikTok, twitter at boy underscore adequate mm. and all music platform apple music spotify boom boom, boom play mm. youtube mm -hmm. also boy on adequate mm -hmm. yeah boy adequate you find boy me adequate everywhere. everywhere yeah that is for music and his social media as well go yeah. subscribe to his youtube channel go listen to his it's actually really good like the songs are really good yeah. we, we vibe so with much. them that's really thank dope. you so much and of course uh shout out to you and your team by the way for yeah. coming through yeah and for keeping time thank you so much. <laughs> we appreciate that too much yeah. all right so for the guys watching at home the hashtag is bounce nation we're still here and we want you to listen to our guest song he's called boy adequate the song is called yolo mm -hmm. dj let's go all right